Hi everyone and welcome to today's video session. I'm still Thomas and I'm one of the superb IELTS teachers here at Lango Learning System. Talking about a place or a location is a topic that students frequently encounter in the speaking exam. So in this session I'd like to help you how to tackle a speaking part 2 question relating to public places. Let's have a look at a prompt that you might be given in the test. Describe an important public place in your area. You should say where it is, what it's like, what activities you can do there, and explain why it's important. Now, let's brainstorm some ideas for each bullet point. The first prompt relates to the location. So I'm going to choose the most prominent building in Hanoi, the Lotte building. For more detail, you could provide the street on which it's situated, in this case, Dautan. For the second question, you can generally describe its appearance or compare it with other buildings. You could also talk about any special features of the building. Next, we'll list some common activities that people do there, like going shopping or enjoying the city from an unobstructed viewpoint, that sort of thing. In the last question, we can mention how it contributes to the economy or the landscape of the city, or maybe even both. Let's have a look at a sample answer using these ideas. Well, one of the tallest buildings in my country is the Lotte Tower. It's recognised as a prominent and symbolic Korean construction in Vietnam and has significantly influenced the modern architecture of our capital city. The Lotte Tower possesses 65 floors above ground and 5 underground, which ranks it third amongst the highest skyscrapers in Vietnam. It leaves a strong impression on passers-by due to the fact that the architect took inspiration from a symbolic image of Vietnam, the Ao Zai. If you've got a chance to visit Lotte Tower, you must try the most striking and mention-worthy feature, which is the observation deck. Besides this, you could also experience the high-speed elevators, which can reach the 65th floor in under one minute. Coming there, you can walk in the clouds because the roof is constructed from toughened crystal glass which gives you a great unobstructed view of the whole city. The cost is pretty pricey, but it's worth a try to enjoy this thrilling feeling in one of the tallest skyscrapers in Vietnam. All in all, Lotte deserves to be a symbolic feature of Hanoi City in particular and Vietnam in general. It promotes the global standing of Hanoi and provides citizens with access to a lot of modern utilities. Hence, there are no words that could describe its indisputable importance. Alright, I've given you a sample answer for this type of question for public places in your country. You can use this as a model to manipulate language for your own answers in your IELTS speaking exam. And I really hope that you found this session helpful in preparing you for your IELTS exam. Don't forget to like and subscribe, show your support for the channel. Thank you very much for joining me today and I'll see you for the next video. Bye.